What? Do you... I am going into work, my man. Why are you trying to pull me over as I'm going Because you're work? going 80 and a 45. I am going into work. Okay, where are you going what to work What does it look for? like I'm dressed for? I have what no... does it look like I'm dressed for? Picture this. You're hurtling down a road at 80 miles per hour, though the speed limit is a mere 45 miles per hour. It's inevitable that such reckless conduct would soon have you facing the radar gun of an officer tasked to patrol the area. One might think it takes an individual devoid of any ethics and a blatant disrespect for law and order to act so recklessly, but what if I told you the unexpected suspect would be the very one assigned to uphold the law? In a recent incident in the Sunshine State, this is exactly what happened. Orlando police officer Alexander Shauni found himself on the other side of the law when a local sheriff's deputy flagged him down. His offense? Roaring down what appears to be a solitary country road at a staggering 80 miles per hour. He's the guy that... Uh... With sirens wailing, he finally managed to close the gap at an upcoming intersection, positioning his patrol car next to the offender. He lowered his window, directing the Orlando PD officer to pull over. It's somewhat amusing that Officer Alexander seemed shocked as to why another member of law enforcement would signal him to stop. It's as if he considered himself above the law. You gonna pull over? Please say a command. Pull over. So what legal infractions did Officer Alexander commit? Apparently, in his eyes, none. His role at the Orlando PD seemingly renders him immune to Florida's traffic regulations, leaving him stunned at the notion of being pulled over. However, for an average citizen like you or me, such behavior would undoubtedly result in a hefty fine for speeding and another for reckless driving. The repercussions of this violation can range from monetary fines and points added to your driving record to increased insurance premiums. And in more severe instances, a potential license suspension. On the other hand, reckless driving is typically viewed as a worse transgression. It entails maneuvering a vehicle with an apparent intentional or reckless disregard for the safety of individuals or property. Due to the heightened risk of damage and harm associated with reckless driving, it is often categorized as a misdemeanor. The penalties for this offense can encompass more substantial fines, license suspension, probation, and in certain circumstances, even imprisonment. What? Do you I am going into work, my man. Why are you trying to pull me over as I'm going Because you're work? going 80 and a 45. I am going into work. Okay, where are you going to work What does it look for? like I'm dressed for? I have What no... does it look like I'm dressed for? My name is Deputy Hilton, and I see your driver's license. No. Okay. 3113, copy at 1050. Ideally, this scenario should have resulted in the necessary measures being taken against the speedy officer. However, Officer Alexander took the entire situation lightly, seemingly treating it as absurd. He suggested that the sheriff's deputy was wrong for stopping him and acted as if Florida's laws didn't apply to him, casually dismissing them. After the brief halt, he departed the scene despite knowing he was not legally permitted to leave due to the traffic stop. This is where my issue with the sheriff's deputy who halted Officer Alexander arises. For any ordinary citizen like you or me, any attempt to evade a traffic stop would most likely have resulted in being forcibly restrained and potentially tasered. Therefore, the critical question we should all ask is, why wasn't the law enforced in a consistent manner? Stay in the car. Sorry, my window doesn't work. Off the Brown Roswell Police Department. You know how fast you were just going, ma'am? I'm so sorry, I'm late for work. So you could go over 80 miles per hour on 92? No, ma'am. You have your driver's license and your insurance card? Turn off the car and pass me the keys, please. While it's understood that the same officer wasn't involved in this subsequent case, it does illustrate the potential response from any officer when dealing with allegations of reckless driving. Like Officer Alexander, this woman was simply en route to her workplace. But because her occupation didn't involve donning a police badge, her treatment was vastly different. It might not shock you to learn that she was actually taken to jail? This raises the question, why aren't we demanding more from those who should ideally uphold higher moral standards when it comes to law enforcement? Temper, I got a city uh, Orlando PD taken off from a traffic stop. Uh, it's gonna be... X-ray Fox Rod 6207, XF6207, he refused to stop. In a final act of disregard for his professional responsibility, Officer Alexander employed his patrol car's lights, 
to bypass a red traffic signal. Eventually he was arrested and charged with resisting an officer, engaging in reckless driving, and escaping from a law enforcement officer with lights and sirens operational. A pressing issue that we ought to raise is why has Officer Alexander's face been obscured in the video? Typically, in most police body camera footage, and it's the faces of witnesses that are blurred out, not the accused. So why was this standard not applied to Officer Alexander? Why wasn't his mugshot disclosed if he was indeed arrested? For the Orlando Police Department to foster community trust, they should handle this case with the same degree of transparency as any other, which doesn't appear to be the case at the moment. 